it's a little early, but that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do to set up. So we're going to get started now. Great. For reference, all right, and for reference for the camera, this is Team 1. Today is Tuesday, September 20th, and it is almost 1 p.m., so we are actually ahead of schedule, which is perfect. And as everyone knows now, we're going to be talking about career choices for this meeting. And our goals for this, by the end of... By the end of this whole meeting, we should be able to identify the career goals of ourselves and everybody else in the group. We should be able to describe specific goal milestones taken to achieve career goals and establish a path for completion of next steps towards career goals. Okay, so. First session, we're going to just introduce ourselves and say what our career choice is. And I'm already talking, so we'll just start with me. Uh, my name is Rebecca Knopf, and I'm going to be getting my AA at the end of this semester. And my career choice is I'm going into film production. I've been studying film since I was a freshman in high school. And for film production is the ultimate goal. Directing and screenplay writing are a big part of what I want to do. Um, I've already done a little bit in both, and I've done a little bit of news for like two years. I did news anchoring, and I was uh, the executive producer of my high school's news show. So news is kind of my gateway into all of this. Who wants to go next? Um, I volunteer. No one else will. Um, my name is Trey. Uh. Um, my career choice is um, I want to be a marketer for uh, one of the big automotive companies. But um, I'll settle for something less in the meantime if I do like parts or anything like that, as long as I'm uh, dealing with the automotive field. Um, and it's been my passion for a long time. Very cool. Okay, I'll go ahead and go. Um, my name is Sherry Moore, and I am the uh, currently in pretty much the job that I want to be in. I'm a, a corporate trainer for. Yeah. Uh, issues that go on with uh, with teaching in pro in public schools. I've decided I do not want to teach, and I'm not exactly a huge fan of children, uh, so I, I prefer to teach adults. So I'm going to continue on this work for a So I'm already in the role that I want. I'm, uh, I'm looking to go more towards the leadership role. Okay, I guess I'll go next. Um, hi, my name is Marisa. My career choice is pharmaceutical sales. I definitely like the health field. I'm not into like the blood and the broken bones or anything. So I think that's like a better choice for me. Plus I like to interact with people and I have like five years of experience with sales. So I definitely like the study of medicine and science and all that. Is my all right. I think I'll go next. So uh, my name is Michael Roman. Um, uh, right now, I'm going for network engineering on Cisco. Um, possibly going for a bachelor's um, if it's possible. Um, career choice was because I like computers. I've been dealing with computers since I was like 13. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my passion right now. I'm coming from an aviation field background, so it's kind of a little bit different. But uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, let's see. Now that we gotten out what we are doing. Next we're going to be talking about what steps we have taken so far to get ourselves towards our career objective. For me, um, like I said earlier, news was kind of my gateway. Um, I started when I was, I started TV production when I was a freshman, but you had to be a junior to get into the news program at the school. So when I did that, I, I went in as an anchor. The next year I became the executive producer of the show. And we won a couple of awards at some different, like, smaller film um, awards that kind of are more student-based, called the, the Emmas. 
um, one shows for our new show there. Um, the list on ABC, if any of you have ever heard of that, found out about our show, and they had me be a, a guest reporter on the show, and I talked about the, uh, my high school's new show on it and everything. So, news is kind of my gateway into all of this. I've done some smaller projects on my own, but I don't really ha I have like, the physical capabilities of a lot of different huge big things, so I'm kind of just having to work with the, small, the little things that I do have. And news was my big gateway to, to strive towards that. Um, I'm going to be going to UCF, so that's kind of, that's where that's really going to help me because a lot of, because in the UCF film program there, we do have to do a lot of small projects, and those small projects are going to help really help a lot because I'll now I'll have the technology at my hands to make the things that I really want. So I guess we'll go in order now of people who talk. So let's just go in the same order we did last time. Oh, yes. I have a second. Right? Um, well, I moved here from New York uh, when I, I was going to high school there. Um, they had an automotive program. And uh, as soon as I started, I was in love right away. You know, I couldn't get enough of that. It was already something I had done with, like, my dad and just with my family and stuff. Um, so when I moved here, um, I finished my last year of high school here, and they didn't really have anything like that, so um, I just maintain good grades. I still, you know, I'm, 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 I'm right next to the grandfather clock. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's my fault. I didn't think about that at all. I didn't think about okay. Every 15 minutes it goes off, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then after high school, I decided to attend SGC, um, which I also will be uh, graduating next semester. Um, and then uh, I got a job working in the field at a high school, um, and then worked on and off um, since then. So those are those all the things I've done to um, get me where I'm at now in that pursuit. Nice. Okay, I guess it's me next. Um, so what I've done so far, honestly, I I've been in the industry. I work in insurance, so I've been in the insurance industry since I was in high school. I did one of those um, work half a day, go to school half a day type program things. Um, many, 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 many good group of people here. Uh, but I, so I've been in this industry for over 20 years. As an agent in writing insurance for so long, I've become uh, what we in the training world call us me as a matter expert, and I'm also very good at explaining things. I naturally transition into this training role uh, where I'm, you know, teaching how to do things uh, all over time, and now I'm only just teaching online things, so I'm really trying to get more into that e-learning group. Uh, I technically don't need a degree. I never didn't get a degree uh, in my youth, so I'm going for two years and. Um, the steps that I have taken towards my um, career path would honestly be just my schooling and a little bit of research because my career choice um, from physical field rep, I would need a bachelor's and I'm about six classes away from my AA right now. So I've pretty much just done research. I know that um, I should get my foot in the door with an internship to be able to land as a sales rep, but other than that, um, it's just been taking the required classes for my AA and then researching um, what I need to do in order for me to get my foot in the door because it is kind of a hard industry to get started with. They want somebody with a lot of experience. So in one of the last projects that I did, um, I had interviewed a sales rep from a dermatology company. Her name was Jamie and she kind of um, informed me that I should get an internship for Okay. 
so um, being my turn right now, uh, steps I've taken uh, forward um, to uh, forge my career has been uh, research just like everybody else has mentioned before. Um, extensively about salary, uh, end goals, uh, what is uh, network in itself. Uh, jobs available in um, areas, so I would like to stay in Florida, so that's something I take in consideration if I'm going into this field, if I need to move out of state or not, so um, that's things that I've taken forward. As far as class goes, um, I'm trying to basically maintain a GPA of 3.5 or above, get commendation letters from uh, Cisco, anything that can help me um, uh, towards my goal, I pretty much want to snatch. Um, so, um, so yeah, so pretty much, I mean, on, on that basis, on class, that will be what I've done. Um, as far as uh, work goes, I have about, like I said, been 13, since 13, so I mean, that's a long time uh, in the field as far as computer goes um, for uh, experience, so that's pretty much covered right there, so that's going to help me. Also, certifications, I've already started working on them, SPC gives me the opportunity uh, to get my A-plus certifications. Uh, if I uh, meet a certain uh, GPA with uh, with SBC, so that's not only am I going to school, but also SBC is paying for my um, certification so I can make it in my field. All right, cool. And our next step we're talking about, we kind of already, some people already covered this. I know I pretty much already covered this, but it's what are your next steps slash classes uh, needed to achieve your career goal. For me, this is my last semester before I get my AA. These are the only I only needed some elective classes, so I chose uh, this one, creative writing, things like that. Um, and then after that, I just need the two years to get my bachelor's, and I'm there. And then it's pretty much just getting my foot in the door wherever I can, making any connections I can, and just working my way in any way possible. But for school and classes wise, I only need this semester for my AA and then two years and then bachelor's is there. Um, like we all mentioned, um, I'll uh, continue with a bachelor's degree. I want to transfer to USF. That's something that is required to just even get your foot in the door. Um, but as far as other than school, I want to just continue to build a network of people in the industry because I think that's one of the most important things as far as getting a job you want. Um, and like other people mentioned, an internship to gain experience um, which is such an important thing because so many companies want experience um, right when you're coming in. Um, yeah, that's about it. And then there's certain licenses as well, um, like dealer licensing, like dismantle licensing. Um, if I was going to do something in like a parts field or my own business. Um, so all those things are other than education, like just the network and the internship is, is the, main, the main two goals. Now, um, so I have all the experience already, so it's kind of interesting. I'm in the opposite sort of place the rest of you guys are. I have all the experience, and I don't have the education behind me, per se. Uh, I have to do all of my classes online because I travel. Uh, this is the reason why this was going to be a little challenging for us last week. Actually, on Sunday, I flew back home from Texas. So I was in Texas, and then I was in Kansas a couple days before that, and tomorrow I fly to North Carolina. So I'm kind of on the road all the time. So it's very challenging for me to continue my education on that work so I can do new classes in the semester. So I'm going to continue to do that. I still have a couple more left. I'm also a teacher because I'm going to go into the education field. And I have to sit and not be a teacher. Okay, so I kind of mentioned um, the last steps that I need to take to achieve my career goal. Um, like I said, I have like six classes left for my AA, which is basically a couple math classes, like two electives and a science. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and get my bachelor's. 
and mentors like my graduation for my bachelor's is when I'm going to start looking for an internship and then kind of get my foot in the door so okay um well as far as me goes um I've been pretty much hammering down classes really quickly so my plan is to actually get extra classes that might help me out in the field um, so I've been taking about five or six classes per semester and I'm in my third semester right now so I'm running out of um, classes <laughs> for my uh, AAs right now so I'm taking extra classes like uh, programming for Java and whatever not um, to get more certifications that way when I go to a um, an employer um, I can present not only that I'm qualified as a network engineer, but also I could be of another benefit if they need any type of programming or any of that matter. Um, and that's just one field um, extra on my belt. So um, that's about it. Okay. Well, a little shorter than I thought it ended up being. That is all of the like big discussion items that we're on the agenda, but if there's anything else you guys really want to throw out there, just talk about anybody else's, I think we should go into like an open discussion. Anyone to make any comments of anyone else that they need to throw in their input. Okay. Rebecca, I was just going to say for your film uh, career, I think you should utilize the contacts that you have and even the ones here with us. So if you let us know when you have something going on that you want some feedback in the funnel, certainly so we're doing that. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, Janelle will do little things. Like when I was in T production, we had all the technology, we had all the editing programs that I needed. Um, and I had for two years, I was able to do pretty much anything I could. But then when I got to my junior year, the new show took up so much of my time to the point where I was doing it in other classes. I was doing it outside of school. The whole of that whole entire new show, which it, UPC is what it was called, that became my life. My senior year, I actually they um I ended up having to make the entire school senior slideshow. I had to do the entire thing. So I took out other class like I left my economics class so much. I was like, hey, so my entire lunch period, I'm gonna be working on this. I'm leaving early. Bye. So it, yeah, no. When I so um, my junior senior, I didn't really get to do as much as I wanted, just because I was so busy with UPC. That was my life. And then it, yeah. Um, and everything I did junior or senior year is kind of eh, amateurish. I'd say is probably the good okay. word. But I scripts and uh, screenplays are the biggest thing right now that I've been able to actually do. I've been able to write screenplays because there's it doesn't take as much as long as you know the format and you know what you're doing. You can write a screenplay; it's easy. It's there if you've ever writ, like read an actual screenplay, they're very cut and dry because if you have to say exactly what is happening on screen, it's like if you do, if you don't say that this happened on screen, it didn't happen, which is a lot a lot of where continuity errors occur. Like if you don't say she set this down right here and then went to go do this and she did this, it didn't happen. So it's very cut and dry to read the screenplay, but it's yeah. also very easy if you get the format down. And in movies, yeah. that's the most common error, like the continuity in movies. Like, it's yeah. all, you see it all the time. Like, even if you're not someone with a film mind, you'll pick it up every once in a while. You'll see, like, you know, they like, screwed something up here or there, or cut to a different scene, you know. Yeah, and a lot of that actually does have to do with... Some of it is, like, because they have continuity managers. Like, there are just people dedicated to the continuity when you're making a movie. Mm -hmm. And... Some of it, yeah, is during just the filming pro like process with not noticing little things that were occurred, but some of it actually does occur in the writing process, not yeah. noticing, remember where you put something in writing and then you keep going, and so they right. follow, the continuity error will follow the script perfectly, but the script is not always perfect. Um, it's funny, before um, you were talking about like certain projects or, like, and you are calling it like, amateurish or something like that, like, they reminded me, I just read something today about the Blair Witch Project, the new one. <laughs> well, it's not doing well, but how the first one, it was a $20,000 budget, and it made like $250 million. And I've always, just from the financial standpoint, I never liked the movie or anything like that, but just from financial standpoint, that's whoever made that movie. I mean, they were really, who would ever think that that would have propelled it to that kind of fame and that kind of money out of a $20,000 budget in the woods, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know? and you see some things that, and then there's so many, I've seen low budget films that have had less than that and have done more than that, and I'm just yeah. like, what? 
it's some people crazy. have it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Kevin Smith, he, all of his movies were like credit card budgets and stuff like that, and he made all that money. Yeah, there was a film two years ago at Sundance. I didn't get to go, but um, my class went because my teacher takes like um, 15 students every year to Sundance Film Festival. Yeah. And there was a film there entirely shot using an iPhone. Wow. The entire thing. And I'm like, okay, um, I have Android, so automatically I'm going to be doing better, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm actually pretty familiar with screenplays. I, in my previous life, I did a lot of theater, so quite familiar with reading and writing and executing acting on screenplays. So it's, I, I get your point that it can be um, boring <laughs> to read all of the interstates left and move this way and all those types of things. It's kind of fun. Yeah, one thing I am going to do is there is a site my um, screenplay teacher, who is also my TV production teacher, told us about called Ink Tip. And as long as you get it like copyrighted or put it with the writer's skill beforehand and everything, it, that to protect the um, just the property itself. Mm. You put it on there, and it basically you write a log line. If you get a producer in that log line, they can go and see the summary. If you catch them with the summary, they can read the first ten pages, and if they like it, they'll pay you for the script. So it takes a really good way just for producers to filter out what they want, what they need, and then get it out there. So I'm going to be putting my script up there. And because I only have one, like, really feature-length film, a lot of my stuff is shorter. You shut up. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of my stuff's shorter, but for my feature-length film, um, I'm going to be putting that up there, and then I'm currently working on one right now for my creative writing class. It's going to be um, another feature-length film. I'm going to be putting that on Inktip when it's finished. Very cool. I'll be saying, cool. we knew you would. <laughs> it's like, I had a video conference. I have the film to prove it. <laughs> we talked. <laughs> Anybody else want to talk about anybody else? <laughs> well, one thing I think is worth mentioning um, is how cool, like, I've never used the Hangouts thing or anything like this, really. So um, I just think it's really cool how we can all be at different places, different things. You can be in different states, wherever, and we can all, you know, you can still work together and you can, regardless of what business you're in or what company you're working for, you can still collaborate and work together. And it's just so, it's just very interesting and cool to see how the technology has allowed, you know, this to. Um, just be so mainstream and so easy to do now, you know, like the call conferencing and stuff like that. Yeah. I use video, video conferencing, but it's in a little bit of a different way, and I do a lot of uh, web classes, but I don't generally see everyone all at the same time. It's mostly right. watching me. Uh, so this is really very interesting. I hadn't used Google Hangouts in this particular way before. So. Right, right. Thank you, Rebecca, for being the leader and putting this all together. I really oh, yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I, I wasn't, no one was saying anything, so I'm like, all right, well, I gotta start something, so for fear that no one was gonna do anything, so. I appreciate it. I was on well, the road, right? Uh, but you being yeah. the film person, it's better than you and you anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to directing this kind of stuff. I haven't, I haven't actually, it was actually a lot easier to plan something like this on video than it was to do it in real life, because my, I, um, my speech class, uh, not the summer semester, but the uh, spring semester, this past one, I had to do an actual, like, we had to plan face-to-face -face meetings and, t and take note of all that, and that was a little more difficult. We were all in the same class, yeah, but people had stuff before and afterwards, so that was, this is actually ended up being a little easier, because we, all we had to do was jump on a video. Well, thank you again, and if you don't mind, then I think me, I don't have to reveal all of the movie, and this is all, and you get it all in it and whatnot. Okay. And I'm going to have you send me your version of this, just to see if it's anything. It did any not work. I not get it to record. Nope. Okay, because my, my only problem is my video, everything was perfect minus the feedback, except you kept cutting out a lot, and Marisa, yeah. you kept cutting out a lot. Um, the other three of us, it recorded fine, everyone else kind of kept cutting out. Okay. But that's, I mean, I, don't, I doubt it's going to be any bit better on this, because this is kind of just sitting there, like, yeah. hey, I exist. So... We'll have to deal with what we have then. Yep. 
All right, well, we, pre we got everything out of the way that we wanted. If anyone wants, I'll send them the um, sample worksheet that Sherry put together for us that cool. is kind of goes along with our action item, which is to, uh, oh God, please come back up, is to create a detailed plan to achieve your career goal. Um, so I'm gonna send that back out to everybody. I think it's the Hangouts will let me send it. So I'll send that out to everybody after this is done then. Okay, very cool. cool. Thank you. All right, sounds good. All right. Thank you. Cool. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.